guys. Um, so this is a really small haul. Um, it's for the bunny pretty much. So I just want to show you what I got. Um, so I went to what is called Beard Bath and Beyond. Um, pretty much what they sell there is like, hang on, I'm going to open. <laughs> um, okay. Pretty much they sell clothing. Like, no, sorry, not clothing, like beard, I guess. Stuff for beards. And um, I know over in, uh, I think, American stuff, they sell CNC grids there, but we don't have any hard stuff there. It's just mainly bedding for beards. So I got these, um, I got two fleeces. This is one of them. I'll show you that over in a second. Um, these are for all for Mr. Bunny. Come up and go. <laughs> um, so it's a. Sorry, the cat's scratching at the door. It's a zebra polyface fro. Um, they, I thought they were going to be nine ninety because obviously I didn't know they had a sale on. So it was really good to find out they were six dollars something. I'll show you in a second. And this is a polka dot one. I was gonna get like a blue one for him, honey. No, what are you doing? I mean, likes to chew like tag, but he hasn't actually shown any signs of chewing a fleece yet. Besides what the hell he's doing now. Um, honey, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so, this is them. Um, yeah. So I'm really happy about these two. Um, so, since they are such a good special, or price, um, let me see. They are... I actually don't think they're even on sale. It just doesn't say they're on sale. Um, they were six ninety three each. Came to thirteen eighty six and includes GST of one eighty. Well, learning about GST actually. Oh, don't see the street address. You probably could see that, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So that's that. Um. Yeah, I really like these two fleeces, and right now, so he's got three fleeces now, he's got those two, and a, he's really making mucked up his cage, um, he's got this brown one, which was his only fleece, and right now I'm using that as like a mat, but I need to get a proper like, sort of mat thing, um, I think you can get them from $2 shop, so I'll work on that, yeah, so now I'm going to put his new fleece down, thanks for watching, bye! Um, okay everyone, so I'm also going to give you a cage tour of his, um, cage, and then I will show you, um, the floor space he has to run around in my room, as, um, people are going to say this cage is small, which it is, and he doesn't live in there, and so I want you guys to show you, um, what space he has to run around, so here he is now, getting his little ears rubbed, so I'll do that, and yeah, sorry, <laughs> I just scared the little guinea pigs, alright, um, so down in that corner is his litter box that I just cleaned out, which is awesome. Um, I normally put some hay down there, but he does use the hay ball now, which is great. Um, and over here is his hay, I mean his food bowl, because his pellets in. Um, he's just eating what I would call normally now, so that's awesome. Um, and also his nice new zebra fleece, which he hasn't really seen yet. <laughs> and then his green chew. Uh, he did have a carrot one, but he donated that to the guinea pigs, so yeah. Um, actually he really chewed it and then I put him in the hutch and I forgot about it, so, yeah. <laughs> um, he's being a little mischief boy now. He's getting on top of the bird's blanket and disturbing all these pigs. I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing, fella? Oh, he's a funny little boy. What are you doing, baby? Right, and so then, oh yeah, then his, um... What do you call it? Corn toss. I forgot to do a. I didn't put this in the hall, but I got it yesterday because um, the other one broke. This one was really crappily made, to be honest. This one I can tell it's got it's like more sturdy because they already chewed off this and haven't come out. So that's awesome. Um, and then down here is his kebab. He ate off the. um, What do you call it? Hmm. I think it's called a loofah chew. It's like that sort of like really like random like. It helps with their teeth, but he completely ate all that. It took him like two days, which is cool. That kept him entertained. And then he's got this, um, oh god, he's climbing on my back now. He's got this apple chew, and he's chewed the top, but he, I can't see him really probably getting around stuff. 
And then a banana chew just went in yesterday. It looks like he's chewed off some of this today, which I haven't noticed before. And then he's got a pumice chew at the bottom. Where is he gone? He was on my back before. And then down here is his mineral carrot chew, which he has chewed a hell of a lot. <laughs> he loves it. When he finishes that one, I'll probably give him a banana one. I can see him going for a lot of toys. Like oh, baby. When they're guinea pigs, they probably wouldn't really chew much. And he seems to be getting quite big for this. Um, he doesn't need to be using as much as when I first got him. Even though I've only had him two weeks. So, um, I'm probably going to donate to the guinea pig soon. Look at him exploring. He just came out, so he's happy. And now I'll show you the floor space. So, my room is... Not really messy, but it's okay messy. And I'll do a room tour actually one day. Oh, he's got to get out of there though. It's in my washing basket. So, um, I sort of walk in and there's like this entrance in my school wig. And then I like, can just come around there. His cage, the guinea pigs, the bird. And then down here is my chair, which is normally tucked in there. And then sort of there. I have bug beards, you see, <laughs> which needs to be made. And I got Subway. Woo! I haven't eaten yet. I need to make that. And then Millie normally sleeps down here. <laughs> this is turning into a room tour, actually. Um, Millie normally sleeps down here on this, like, I've got bug beds, so on the bottom, I guess, I have to have these soft toys here, but I have so much soft toys that are in my wardrobe. <laughs> and then Millie normally sleeps down there on her bed, which is, I don't know where it is now. I think it's in my sister's room. But since the baby guinea pigs are here and they move around in the night, um, um, she has to sleep with me. She was sleeping in my sister's room, but it didn't really work out. My sister ended up coming in my room saying, can you take Millie? So, yeah. And like, I think it was like 12 o'clock last night. She came into my room. Oh, God. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much his cage. So, thank you um, for watching. And, oh, did I mention that I'm changing him from a water bowl to a bottle? I don't know if I said it at the start. I'm going to go and swap because I don't have any spare bottles. So I'm going to go and give Rocky, because Rocky, my guinea pig, can drink out of a bowl. So I'm going to go swap it because I'm really sick of the mess which he makes with that bowl. He just like puts his paws in and he'll walk all over the fleece and sometimes tip it over. And last night he dipped my, um, or well his, my old dressing gown, he dipped it in and it soaked up all the water. So then it got wet and, oh. And by the way, um, he normally has a bed in there, which is right. I'll get it out actually. I need to stick on the wash though. Oh, he's going in his cage. Um, it's here. See, his first accident. I don't blame, blame him. It's been really good. But yeah, I think it's like a piss, I guess. Um, which I just got my wash. And then, but I need to wash all the stuff. And then there's down there, there's old lace. I'm going to wash all this um, when my dad goes out because my dad, he isn't that bad on me washing the bunny stuff. He just hates, he will not let me wash the guinea pig stuff. But the bunny stuff I can wash, but I'm not sure. Like, I haven't even asked, but I just do it. And so hopefully, because he knows the bunny's toilet train, so it doesn't matter that much. When the guinea pigs, they pee all over stuff. But this is his first pee on anything else. And um, so, yeah, I'll wash this when dad goes out. So that's really everything. Bunny is getting bigger. My friend, she saw him when I first got him and then she came out like recently and she goes, Whoa, I think he's grown. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really notice, but I guess he is, yeah. I can't really weigh him because um the scales only really fit guinea pigs. So that sucks. Honey, you can't eat plastic and you'll probably die if you swallow it. Um, so yeah, that's the space he runs around and he goes outside during the day, it's a good day. Um, which I would have put him out some morning because it only did drizzling. But um, I need to get a tarp to put on top of his run. And I will show you the run. I'll give you a run tour one day. But um, I need to put a tarp on top of it in case it rains um, while I'm at school. I'm just so scared I'll be at school and it'll probably start like raining. Knowing our weather is always changing. And I do not want to be at school like knowing that my bunny will be soaked and cold and hypothermia. No. <laughs> but that's him. Um, he's adorable. And that's his old disgusting litter tree newspaper stuff. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, another little thing on him is where's it gone? Uh oh. Um, he had his harness here. Uh oh. <laughs> where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Um, 
it fits him. This is Millie's old harness when she was a puppy. Um, I put it on him, and like he was okay with it at first. He was chewing it, and he sort of just got used to it. Um, I use this so when he goes up the backyard, I will just clip a lead there, and I will carry him up. But if he happens to jump out, like jump out of my arms, because what he does is when I pick him up, he will sit there really calmly for about probably a minute, let's say, and how he depends on how he's feeling. It could be two minutes, but um. He'll do that, but then he'll just like jump and like or get like struggle heaps. So I can either walk him up the backyard or I can um just hold him and see what happens. But that's just to keep him safe. And I am giving him, him his own one, but this is just for now. Um, I'll get him a blue one probably on Saturday. So yeah, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and like if you think Lynx is so cute. Oh, okay, bye.